just between you and me. I've got my doubts about it Just between you and me You're too much to forget Just between you and me, uh, Charlie Pride tonight uh, A few people had this out, Porter and Dolly had this out I'm not sure who had it out first actually, but I think Charlie did uh, And anyway, great song, a lot of people recorded this one But uh, I remember it from uh, uh, by Charlie Pride and myself, and uh, uh, Marty Stewart had a, a cut on this too, and kind of reminded me of it later on in years. Uh, my name is Keith Williams of Fret More Guitar Lessons, where we fret more, stress less, and make a whole lot of music. And I did a I did a cover on this song uh, in the key that Charlie did it in, and uh, which is capoed up to, and he plays it, he, it's an F sharp basically, and. Um, uh, I did that. It's a little low in places. Okay, there's a few places where it's like, Whoa. and I don't have a mic, so my voice just kind of just drops out. Seems like, and so I decided, well, I'm gonna play it in G, just open G. Um, but with G, you've got an F chord in there, and so uh, I uh, I did a couple of covers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post both of them or not. Honestly, I need to go back and listen to them and see if you know. Whatever, because I, I had a kind of a, I had a little goof up on each of them, you know, and I'm like, ah, I could redo them, and, but they, they were pretty slight, um, but I did goof up on a couple of them, on each of them, just something different each time, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, it was the same mistake, I could maybe fix it and get it right, but it was a different mistake each time. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you how he plays it, and then I'll show you the, the I'll show you the G version. And then depending on which version I post, or if I post both, you can you can check them both out. Uh, but uh, this one, uh, of course, doesn't have an F chord, so it's a little easier in that respect. Uh, capo it up to, and, and you could do this in open E as well. Or you could capo up one, play it, that would be F, the key of F. Uh, but the position is going to be in the fingering, uh, shapes here is going to be E. Got an A in there. You can get that A with three fingers, or two, or one, or whatever. We've got a D in there something new there a little bit in the in the uh, that's that's just uh, one little part where it's just going to the D there uh, and then we've got a B7 in there. okay so um, um, so that's how we're going I'm going to show the lesson that way now if you did it in G here's here's how the chords would be uh, uh, be G C D and then the F would be the would uh, take the place of the D that we're playing there, uh, capoed up. So it'd be. So it's going to the F there. Just between you and me, got my doubts about it. So um, I liked it in G pretty good, actually, uh, as far as the sound of it, and way better. But uh, Charlie had a pretty low voice. I know when I did. Uh, Let's see, uh, pop, no, not pop top. I didn't do pop top. Um, what's, oh, Kiss an Angel, Good Morning. It was different. Uh, uh, Alan Jackson, you know, come out with that later, and he did it higher than uh, 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 Charlie did. So, so that's kind of the way this one is. It's a little low, but um, I'm going to show you this one. And then if you want to change it, you can. You can drop it down or whatever. Take, uh, move the capo up, make it higher, or play it in a different key. Either way. All right, so uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the. I'm gonna, I've, I've done some picking here a little bit, uh, uh, and it's not exact, but it'll kind of get the job done. We're starting on the, the A string, uh, second fret here, and then we're going to the D string, second fret, and then uh, D string, fourth fret. And we're going to slide down to the 6th fret. And back. 4th. And then 2nd the again on the, fourth str on the D string. And then, then hit the 8. Let me see. Let me show you my finger over here. I'll show you my, my right hand. So it's just the one note on the A string and then all the rest of it's D. It's just open it, just the A chord. And I'm just all this is on the A as well. Let me do it one more time. So I'm just 
doing a hammer on from the uh, on the A string from the second to the fourth, and then back to the D string there. So all together now. Shoot, sorry. Open A and B seven. Then we're going to be on the fourth string. Oh, this is the fourth string here. Uh, and just in that positioning there on the first fret. So down three times. Second fret, fourth. And then grabbing it on the E. Okay. And so like I so said, that little lick that you hear there is going just to E to D. time in the middle uh, there's there's two verses to this song and so it does that at the beginning uh, of, of that verse and then uh, the uh, after the second line of the verse and uh, uh, the, I think the chord progression is the same way all the way through I'm pretty sure for the chorus and the verses so, okay so uh, as you've seen there's just e, e a and b seventh and then back to e. all right so here's the second part of the first verse they say the time And I know that someday I'll forget and love. Just be, and it kind of stops there. Just between you and me. A, B, 7. Got my doubts about it. it. Just does it one time there, I think, the E and the D. Okay, or, yeah. Uh, in between, uh, in the chorus, it just it does it twice at the beginning of the chorus. But only once, I think, in between there after uh, the second line. Um, and, and before the next, just between you and me. Just between you and me, hey, you said that you are too much to forget. And I did that lick again. I did it in G2, the lick's just a little different, uh, but uh, just G, C, and D on the lick. And matter of fact, it's a lot of open strings. It's still on the, uh, it's on the fourth string, I think, uh, fourth and third, what I'm doing in, in the G there. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's the whole song, really. That's the whole deal. Because uh, what you do is when you go to the next, uh, after that, if you do the lead part, if you don't want to do the actual play the lead, you can just run through the chords, E, A, and B7. I've ever loved. I'm just going to talk this one. And so I felt. So, <laughs> I never can talk it. I have to say it. <laughs> and so I've never felt so low. So what? I'll just tell myself each time I want to cry. Hey, be seven. The someday time will dry the teardrops from my eyes. go back into the, the chorus and the chorus is actually different uh, that's where I goofed up on the uh, when I did the one in G I, I sang the uh, the first chorus again because uh, it's just one line difference is all it is but it does change up and I, I forgot and I, so I sang it again and then I'm like oh crud so anyway I went back and sang the last the second chorus at the end so I, I sang the chorus twice so the last one is uh, just between you and me uh, I'm not so sure about it instead of I got my doubts about it. Okay, I'm not so sure about it. Uh, but it's the same progression, just A, E, B7, and then at the, in the middle. Just between you and me, you're too much to forget. You're too much to forget. It goes back to the B7 there to as a tag, doing that last line again, okay? And then there's, like I said, there's one of those. 
going too much too far. And it's something like that right there. So anyway, <laughs> what a great song. I love that. That's just, that's a cool thing right there to add that song. It just really makes it makes it uh, stand out i believe uh so anyway whatever you want to play it in like I say if you want to back it up that'd be lower you got uh you know if you play it uh, in uh f capoed up one be an f in that same position we're doing or if you take the capo off and play it in that position e it's going to be a lot lower uh or i like i say i played it in open g and uh you know it, it makes it a little bit easier i think but uh but you got to do it you got to do the f chord instead of the d Okay, so G and F instead of E and D. So that's the only not so fun part about it there. So, uh, uh, but if you're comfortable with F, then you know that might be a little better. Like I say it's a little bit higher, uh, but it's not so high that you know it changes to where you can't sing it. It's just it's, it keeps some of those low notes from being so low. Okay, uh, but anyway, I hope you're having a great night tonight. I hope this lesson was helpful to you. If you could give us a thumbs up on this one, subscribe to us if you would. Check out our links down below in the description. And let's see, what else? Share us on social media, yes, and check out our other videos out on Fretmore Covers and Guitar Lessons. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.